Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Najee Harris and uh, some of his struggles with his vision as well as setting up defenders um, and just running with a more general sense of downhill, um, which I think would improve um, some of the results in his production. So let's take a look at a couple of plays from throughout the season. First play is um, coming out of a bunch formation here. Uh, Claypool and others do a good job of kind of washing out these edge defenders. Um, and Najee kind of peaks left, but for whatever reason, he turns it back into this big cluster of defenders. So you can see here, you got one, two, three, four, five, six defenders all kind of waiting in this pocket. And Najee has two choices. He can kind of cut it right, um, where these kind of defenders have overextended downhill, or you know, where these receivers have done a good job, but instead he takes neither option. He starts left, but then cuts it right back into the heart of the defense. So I think he's struggling a little. So notice right here, he could cut either left or right. He maybe sees 53 and decides he wants to cut it, you know, up to the left, but quickly abandons that idea and comes back right into kind of the um, heart of the defense here. So, you know, you've got two safeties waiting right here. Seven does a good job of just being patient and then closing in the gap. Whereas you see, had Najee just kind of trusted it, stuck it up here behind 65, 69, he could get through. He could have also tried to jump right. Or even if this is what he's seeing, he wants to go left, follow it through. He's got all this room over out to the left side and you can see that more from the all 22 i mean look here boom he's got all this room he starts left doesn't trust it cuts back so you know just leaving a lot of yards on the field here it's pretty disappointing taking a look at the next play here we've got a run designed to go up the middle with gentry pulling lead blocking and naji sees a little opening to the left and hits it for a modest gain but the issue is it looks like this play was designed to like i said follow these blocks there's a nice double team originally unfortunately cole can't get off of the block cleanly but you know you've also got gentry coming through so he could take out you know one of these two linebackers and then hopefully naji can make a play you know if he follows his block uh, he decides to abandon that he sees something to his left you know so there's some space here, but you know, this linebacker staying disciplined and is not over committing. So, you know, he's able to make the, the play more or less. And the bigger problem is that even though, because this play is designed to go left, we've got dots in here blocking for that. As soon as Najee cuts left, it creates an issue where Dotson all of a sudden gets put in a position where he looks like he's holding. Um, and we see the flag come in in here late. So Dotson ended up getting called for the hold, negating what was a modest run going from like third and short to third, second and long. Um, again, nice play design. We've got the double team here taking care of this defender. We got Gentry pulling through. Notice this linebacker stays disciplined. He's not over committing. And Najee just is not trusting the play design. You know, if he follows this block up, he's got some room here. Um, but instead puts Dotson in this difficult position where now he's expecting to push this lineman upfield. Now the lineman has to try to cross his face and Dotson gets uh, caught with his left arm extended um, almost accidentally. All right, taking a look at another play from the Browns game here, we see Najee has a little room in front of him, but rather than just kind of pressing this hole straight ahead, and falling forward, he gets a little cute. The 28 makes a nice play, but you know, rather than just getting kind of stopped in his tracks, I'd like to see Najee kind of continue to move forward. You see, you've got a nice double team here. Najee should just get on these guys' hips and follow him, you know, them forward. But he's, you know, he's kind of not even to the line of scrimmage yet. And look at his body weight is all the way to the left. Um, avoiding coming downhill um, and it looks like he wants it here 28 makes a nice play but 
because Najee was hesitating so much further back, you know, if Najee's another foot uh, um, forward, 28's out of this play, and he can follow um, it up the middle. I don't know if Najee sees five and is a little scared, but, you know, Najee outweighs both five and 28 by a good 20 pounds. You know, put your shoulder down, fall forward, make them think twice about, you know, meeting you head on in the future. Instead, he stops, lets these guys aim low, and take out their, his legs. So looking at it from the overhead angle, you know, right here, there's a decent double team happening here, another double team happening here. He's got to press that before making his move, but already at the 40, he's kind of leaning left and right, juking back and forth. No, get uphill and then make your jump cut. And now he's already trying to reverse that. It gives 28 and 7 an opportunity to collapse this gap. If that's what you want to do, if you want to draw him in, then bounce to the right, sure. But he's not doing that. He's taking a huge jump here. 28's waiting for him. So you've either got to press it and then cut or just get uphill and fall forward. He does neither. Looking at it again, watch how quickly once he has the ball, he starts to go sideways almost immediately. So looking at it from the end zone cam, he has it and he's already leaning, you know, away from where the blocking is. Get up field. All right. Taking a look at another play in the Browns game. Again, just not sure what he's hesitating for. You've got the same double team on both uh, D tackles. And, you know, rather than pressing it, getting upfield, he's already just five yards back trying to wiggle out of something that's not even there. I mean, 95 is crashing, but again, that's okay um, because, you know, Najee should be able to work through an arm tackle. It's not like he's coming completely unblocked. Instead, Najee loses all his forward momentum. Let's take a look at it here. You know, that's Miles Garrett. He does a nice job, but it's not like he's unblocked. Dan Moore pushes him upfield. If Najee's hitting this, you know, he's got room. One, two gaps right there, but he's hesitant and it causes him to lose his forward momentum. And that's when, for example, now that he stops here, 28 can be in pursuit, 50 can be in pursuit. And, you know, you lose all chance of kind of hitting it up the middle. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's a look at Najee Harris and where he can maybe improve a little bit in terms of his vision and more specifically just getting downhill before utilizing some of that uh, lateral mobility that he has. Um, I don't want to get it twisted. I really like Najee as a back. I think he's got a lot of potential. Again, I just like to see him get downhill, maybe even power forward a few times, lower his shoulder into a safety rather than always trying to juke around them, um, you know, making them pay every now and then, mixing up his punches, so to speak, and, um, you know, following his blocks when, when needed. Um, and so there's a lot of plays we didn't look at where he did an okay job, but just wanted to focus on where he could improve. Um, with that, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care.